Hello dear friends, here I am in a coffee shop and like any hockey mom, I have uh, one hour time to burn. So <coughs> I come to this place while waiting to enjoy some coffee. And uh, this coffee shop, they have, they made very good coffee and uh, it's a new place opened uh, Open in, in San Pedro Market. So we will ask her. This is the person who made me coffee. May I know your name? So, Eric? Yes. So Eric made the coffee. So our friends would like to, to know you. Maybe you introduce yourself. Yes. I'm Eric Anderson and uh, I work here at Bowano Coffee. This location we call B2, yes. downtown San Jose. Yeah. How long did you make coffee? Uh, yeah, you can do your things. Just a friend, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been making I've been making coffee for about seven years professionally. I've mm -hmm. uh, been doing this style of coffee for about uh, four years. It's kind of a new trend, right? Usually coffee Coffee is just an espresso machine, oh, and this one is quite uh, yeah. a couple of years. How many years exactly this time? This has sort of been in style for about, um, actually the, it has roots that have been around for a long time with yes. the Molita style, yes. but uh, this particular one has been uh, around and sort of marketed in the U.S. for about six years or so. Uh -huh. um, and then this, the style of coffee shop that we are, um, with a lot of people call Third Wave. Um, they've really grasped this concept of single cup brewing, which this is, is, and it's a uh, paper filter method. So the paper filters out the coffee grounds, it gives you really cream, plus crisp, clean cup. What is your favorite? If you have a favorite. I'll say like when I go to a coffee shop, yeah. I will have um, a cup of coffee sort of depending on where I go, that's depending on how they're going to brew it. Um, usually this method. Yes. Um, and the other thing I usually have is an espresso. Yes. But is there any special virtue or advantage of this way of coffee? It preserves the coffee flavor or what is, is the advantage of this way of coffee? So a lot of uh, the roasters that um, use this style of coffee, they are uh, coffee making, they usually use this to to exemplify the clarity of the coffee. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I mean a lot of the coffees you'll get through roasters that will do this style tend to be on the lighter roast of yes, side yes. Um, and because of that you don't want to muddle that with like too much of the oils or the fats that, or a uh, sediment that come through and say like French press. Mm. Not to say French presses are bad or anything. Yes. It just doesn't showcase the clarity that a lot mm. of these coffees have. Oh, okay. So um, that's why this is sort of favored by a lot of the specialty coffee shops. The water is much hotter, right? Yeah. It's boiling hot. Yeah. So, so it get it allow the coffee develop better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, general. Brewing guidelines, as um, suggested by the SCAA, which is Specialty Coffee Association of America, mm. is between 195 degrees Fahrenheit to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, because this has such a uh, opportunity to lose heat through the, uh, the top, yes. um, it's a little bit more okay to be on the higher end, maybe okay. a little higher than that. Okay. Yeah. okay. And that little thing slowly gets each drop of clear water into the coffee. It's yeah. better way than just uh, like boiling the coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a large hole at the bottom of this, yes. so when you pour very quickly, the water will come through very quickly. Yes. Um, so if you pour slowly, you restrict the flow of water through yes. it. spends a little more time on the top. Yes. Um, how many minutes you make one this size of coffee? Well, from start to finish, for simply for brewing, it takes about two and a half to okay. three minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, not too long, but uh, then there's a little bit of prep before yes. and after yes. brewing. Yes, yes. You know, feels. Yeah. So, I, my first coffee like this is from Fields. Yeah. Are they, um, are they kind of uh, um, pioneer in this method or? This has been long I think um, from the 
aspect of a single cup brewer, yes. Uh, especially in the San Francisco, yes. greater San Francisco area, yeah. yeah. Um, with this style specifically, I mean, they do a paper and then they do a single cup. Yeah, I would say yes. Um, there's a lot of people who uh, do a lot more pioneering in, say, roast style. Yes. Um, uh, Phil's still sort of on the uh, darker side, yes. and uh, yes. yeah, especially stronger. compared to yeah, especially compared to like um, a lot of the current San Francisco uh, roasters out there yeah. right now. Um, but yeah. They, I would say yes, they helped pioneer How the single How long did cup. you open this shop? Uh, this shop has been here for uh, coming up on two years. Oh. We had a cart in the back corner for a, a little over a year. Oh, um, yeah. oh yes, I remember yeah. two years ago. Yeah. I yes. And then, um, but we actually have another location in Santa Clara, oh. and that's on Stevens Creek between oh. Saratoga and Kylie. What is that? That is also B2? Yeah, that's also Bolano, which is the name of the company. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and this, the B2 just stands for our second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No problem, thank you. Okay.